Welcome back. Our program continues from Weiss's True Value Hardware Store. Joining me now is Chief Vern Marino. And by the way, Vern was also sworn into office. I had the honor of being part of that ceremony. He's now a committee person in Woolwich Township as well. So his community service extends now to two municipalities, and uh, he's going to be a great value uh, in that municipality. He walks up and says his grandmother has a hot point appliance in her basement for how many years? About 60 years. And still running. It still runs. See, 60 is not bad. Efficient. Maybe not real efficient, but it runs. See, 60 is not bad, and I'm not real efficient either, and I'm still running, so not bad. <laughs> Chief, uh, first of all, congratulations on being elected to public office. That's going to be a whole new set of responsibilities, but you're still in this important role here in Paulsbury. We always like to have you on just for general updates, so how are things? Uh, thanks, John. I am looking forward to getting started in Woolwich, uh, my hometown. I've been there born and raised, so I'm very excited to uh, start that uh, next part of my life there as well. Um, I wish I could say uh, Paulsbury's been quiet over the holiday season, and um, it has relative, uh, relative to uh, what we've seen in the past, but in the most recent weeks, we've had stolen vehicles. Uh, it's concerning. Uh, we've had uh, six vehicles taken in the last two weeks, um, and a lot of it is all of it's from people leaving their cars uh, running unlocked uh, in front of their house i get it it's it's cold people want to warm get into a nice warm and cozy car but you know today's cars don't need to be idling um, i was told by many uh, uh car dealers that get in your car and go you don't need it to idle for 10 15 minutes so if i could stress anything to the public to our residents stop letting your cars run uh don't leave them unlocked you know lock their doors lock their residents um that's how they're getting these cars it's amazing, isn't it? Because uh, we've had people at the studio leave their car running. They think they're only going to be, you know, 30 seconds. Car sits and runs for three, four, five, ten minutes. You're just inviting people to take your car because why not? It's cold outside. Who wants to walk? It takes a long time to wait for a bus. So you don't want to give people that opportunity. So, Vern, you're on top of that, I take it, right? I mean, at some point, you'll figure that out. Yes, our detectives are working closely with the prosecutor's office, the state police, um, uh, Camden City. Uh, we know there's a network. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll bring it to a resolution sooner than later. Yeah, I guess always the message is beware of your surroundings, too. When you get out of your home, you look around, don't, no, no matter what time of day, it's always something to be just, you just got to know where you are. And if I could stress anything to the public, if they see anything suspicious, no matter how minute, please call 911. We'd rather come out and make sure it's nothing than have it be something later on. Oh, very good. And by the way, we're taping this show on July, the f July, January. It's not July. It's January 5th. So hopefully by the time you see the show, Vernon and his group have uh, taken this in hand. But remember, uh, precaution and uh, just know your surroundings and don't let your car run without be someone being in it. That's correct. Um, some other news, we're, uh, we're out, uh, we're advertising and looking for uh, alternate crossing guards. Uh, unfortunately, we just had to um, resign uh, for personal reasons, but um, we'll, we're taking applicants as we speak. Um, I'd like to, you know, try to hire four or five more alternate crossing guards. It helps us. We have 11 posts that are, uh, that are filled twice a day during the school season, and um, alternates are always a, um, is always a great uh, help for us. And also, we're in the process of of, uh, replacing our 19th officer. Wow. On, on the crossing guard, because first of all, those those people, what a wonderful, almost thankless job. When you know, If I'm heading out of town early in the morning, they're on the corner. Today it was 11 degrees on the corner. Uh, what does that pay, Brent? Uh, they do it by the hour. It, it, it comes out to almost $20 an hour. I think some of the, uh, the new guards it may not come in at that, that price, but our current ones are almost $20 an hour, so it's not a bad uh, dollar amount. No, and the kids really appreciate it because they get to know these people. I asked what it paid an hour because maybe try to get a shift in on the way out of town or up to the state house. Probably doesn't work though because I, I couldn't wear a suit; It'd be a little too chilly. Uh, yeah, and you know, if they come aboard, we give them um, their winter jacket, their hats, their gloves, um, ID. Uh, but and then they get training. It's a summer annual training, depending on their age, uh, or it's a biannual training. Uh, we provide all that. We provide the uh, medical. Um, um, physical uh, that they have that's required so we take care of all that so like and again it is a very important uh, component for that that they do for the borough very much so if you're interested in being a crossing guard my grandmother was one which i could never understand because she couldn't hardly see and didn't hear well but she enjoyed it immensely and thank god everybody was safe and Vern, how, if someone's interested how do, who do they contact do they stop they office? can just come down to the police station ask for an uh, application or go up to the borough hall see kathy and she can get, get them one too wonderful we're visiting with chief Vern marino also now uh, committee person uh, marino in woolwich township as well uh, heed his advice about your car running being unattended and unlocked you're inviting uh, unwanted guests and you're inviting losing your car so be very careful hopefully by the time you see this that individual's been doing this has been apprehended not a very nice thing to do